Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Uh, Sirisha, don't need, uh, we don't need to learn uh, HTML. Just, you know, it will be saved in HTML format, that's it. We don't need to learn about HTML, okay? Uh, any other questions here? Uh, Vivek, uh, Vivek, if you have any questions, post to everyone, so that everyone can see your question. Yeah, Vivek is asking one question, can we run this test case in IE? No, we cannot run this test case in IE. As I said, Selenium IDE is only for Firefox. We cannot run this particular test case in IE. We can't. Uh, you don't need to turn on Firebug. Uh, did you install Firebug, Judy? If you install Firebug, you know, just you know, right click on the application. Right click on the application, there will be inspect element uh, with Firebug. Okay. Or maybe you know if you go to somewhere tools web developer here you can find with uh, you know Firebug go to open Firebug it will open like this okay go to tools web developer Firebug if you install this you you can find this you can find this okay. Uh, yes, Mohini, we can do parameterization in IDE. Uh, we will discuss this. Yeah, give minute, Bala. You know, don't ask, don't post your uh, you know request this many times. If you have anything, post one time, okay. If I did not respond, maybe you can uh, post for the next time, okay. Don't uh, please don't post for these many times. Uh, I'm not sure this name R S T I N C. Uh, sorry, uh, if you can join with your uh, good name, it will be great. Uh, no, yes, you will learn Java. Okay, here, uh, you know, I will explain Java in this class. Don't worry. I you know even if you don't have any programming language, okay, uh, I will make sure that you are going to uh, you know learn Java in a way that you will write a Selenium scripts. <coughs> Yes, Bala. Um, Kumar, can we share like where is the students are? Can we share our contacts? So, uh, why I'm saying is like for the next class, we will be up to the mark. We will change, exchange whatever the doubts we have. So instead yeah, of definitely, you can you know post that request and you know go to meeting there itself. You know if anyone interested, it's not you know we cannot uh, you know force them to share uh, their information, right? So you can. Uh, yeah. You just post uh, the, uh, no, there in GoToMeet chart. If anyone interested, uh, no, they will share. Otherwise, uh, no, we cannot force them, okay? Um, I, okay, so yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah I know if you have, uh, no, this for everyone, if you have any questions like this, you know, please post, uh, please ask these questions at the end of the class because we are discussing about, we are talking about technical, but okay, don't get these uh, things to in between, okay? Uh, no, Jody, it will be easy to understand. I uh, know this how you know uh, I am go going to explain. If I am going to explain in a smooth way, you will understand easily. So this is the thing. You know, it it depends on uh, now my part. Okay. Uh, 
if I am going to explain uh, very clearly, it will be easy to understand for you. Okay, we'll see. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, no, Akila, actually no, I did not get your email ID list, okay, uh, probably today I will get all of your uh, email ID list, uh, no, so that I can share this HTML, this uh, syllabus, uh, this Excel, okay, this syllabus, and uh, no, the today's recording, okay, whatever the information that I have, I will share, okay, most probably today I am going to get your email IDs. Yep. Now let me go here. What has we 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 have to discuss here? Yeah. See here, there is a uh, you know. Now we are done with these three options, and this is pause and resume. And you know, this is the option will be enabled in debug. I'm not sure someone was asking debug error, right? You know, uh, here we can debug our script. Debugging means we can execute our script line by line. For example, here we have four lines, right? Everyone please observe this. Here we have four lines. I want to closely observe this line, whether you know how it is uh, you know, performing this step. I want to you know closely observe this step. Okay, what I can do, I can perform this step, this step, but at this step, I want to closely observe. So in this case, See here, I am right clicking here, there is something called toggle breakpoint. This is a part of, this is a part of, uh, you know, debugging. Observe here, I am saying toggle breakpoint means, at this point, my script is going to pause. My script is going to be paused. See here, I am clicking on this play current test case. In the background, if you observe, it is opening this Amazon. Okay, it clicked on this. Now it is waiting here. Can you see here? Now it is waiting. Okay. At this particular line it is waiting. It, it did not enter this value laptop. Okay. It did not enter this value laptop here. So it is waiting for us too. Can you see here? Now this button is enabled. Okay. So I can click on this button so that it will run again from here okay so till I click this button it was enabled okay this was uh, no this was a toggle breakpoint again you can observe here I'm clicking on this now if you observe here this this is pause button okay from ourselves we can click on pause or uh, no we can put a toggle breakpoint okay so that the script will be paused here if you want to run again you can click on this Okay, pause and resume. If you click on this, again it will execute. Okay, if you remove this, see here I am removing this. Okay, now, now I have removed this. Now see here again I am uh, executing this. Once I click on this, see here, this is a pause button. I clicked on this button. Okay, so uh, when we are in executing execution mode, now we can ourselves, we can pause the script. Okay. So that now we can, so it's two ways. One is, you uh, know, by mentioning breakpoint, toggle breakpoint. The other is, we can, uh, you know, uh, put this particular, you uh, know, we can click on this pause button while we are in executing mode. Okay. Yeah, uh, Bala, as I said, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, if the, you know, if you want to closely, uh, you know, monitor or script how it is executing. Okay there might be some problem when and uh, no, actually say here uh, we have four lines in say we have uh, no, hundred lines okay uh, no our script is working fine uh, smoothly say till uh, some 20 lines after 20 line it is uh, no uh, uh, you know it is it is perf it is not performing as expected I want to observe uh, what's happening uh, you know around 20 line maybe I will keep some uh, no breakpoint at po uh, this pausing point at 18th line from 18th line words, I will closely monitor what it is doing, what each and every step is doing, so that I can find out, you know, which step is causing my problem. Okay. See here, 
uh, now again let me put some uh, toggle breakpoint here if I execute this so say uh, for example I am getting some issue here that is the reason I put, uh, put some toggle breakpoint here okay now again two options you can simply pass if you click on this it will start running these two lines no no I want to again uh, run this step uh, no, th uh, I want to just run only this step and again I want to wait here in that case you can click on this click on this button step if you observe here only that step is executed here only that step is executed and this step is not executed because if you observe here step it means it is going to execute step by step execution okay so this is this process is called as debugging process this is a simple debug process in selenium ide okay in uh, when we are going to use selenium web driver in eclipse we will learn about uh, know how to debug the scripts there will be some three comments step into step out uh, uh, there is some other other command step over okay we will discuss in detail uh, you know, how to debug uh, our scripts in Selenium WebDriver 2. But here in IDE, it is an easy process. Just you know, uh, use toggle breakpoint here. Use this toggle breakpoint and use this option to execute line by line. Okay. See here. Now I have executed this line so that it has clicked on the go button. Okay. So this too helps us in executing our script in uh, step by step okay it means that it helps us executing our scripts in debug mode give me a minute let me get my charger And see here, I uh, know we have something called uh So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269 a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.